Hi scientists, this is Miss Cordova, second grade teacher at Viewlands Elementary School. Remember when you're going outside today to stay six feet away from the people that you walk by and just remember to stay really safe out there. I want to honor the, that we are on Coast Salish lands and waters today here in Seattle. And when we go on our walk today, we're going to focus on relationships. When I say that, what I mean is the different things that connect the different things around you. So for example, I might notice a relationship between a plant and another plant. I have an example of that right here. I notice here, there are these mushrooms growing kind of within this grass. So they seem very healthy, right? There's a bunch of them growing. So it doesn't seem like the grass is harming it, but I'm just curious about what that relationship is. Another example of a relationship between a plant and another plant. Oh, well actually, look what I found right here. I don't know if you can see this, but there's moss growing in these cracks and there's a little other plant growing in there. So what is that relationship like? That's a relationship between a plant and another plant. I also might notice relationship between plant and animals. Yesterday, I went on a walk and I saw that there, I saw squirrels and I also saw a bunny and those squirrels and bunnies were kind of hanging out near these really nicely garden beds that my neighbor had planted and they were clearly eating something. So I started to wonder if they were eating seeds and other things that were near to the ground. So that is a relationship. If something eats, if, a, if there is an animal that eats a plant, that's a relationship between those things. So look for those on your walk. You might also see a relationship between an animal and another animal. Yesterday, I saw this beautiful bald eagle flying and there are these two small birds flying after it. So I was really curious what was happening there. There's a lot of questions that I have about those types of relationships. Another type of relationship you might see is a human and a plant or a human and an animal. I see those all the time. I've had so many neighbors who are planting in their garden and so I can think about humans and why we plant things. Are we planting things for food? Are we planting things so they can look a certain way? And of course, humans and plants. If you notice that there's a lot of people walking their dogs these days, that's a relationship between, I said human and plants again, I'm sorry, a human and an animal. So there's all kinds of things that you can see when you go outside for relationships. When you go outside and you're having going on this focus walk, don't forget to write down the date, the time that you've taken your walk, the temperature, and the weather. For example, today it's pretty windy, but it's also very sunny. And then as you're writing, it might be a good idea to make two sections of your paper. One kind of containing all of the fun notes that you see, because I don't know if you've noticed this, but when I go on walks, I just write a bunch of notes and sometimes they don't even make sense, but I write all kinds of pictures and words. And then on the other side, you can write things that you notice and things that you wonder because the things that you wonder are the things that are going to get you going outside again to observe that relationship again. So again, we're going outside looking for relationships between plants, animals, and humans, taking notes and writing down the things that we notice and wonder. Have a great walk.